the backs of our arms, getting rid of our bingo wings and cellulite. Now these ones are called our underarm tighteners. Standing with our feet hip width apart, our knees are soft. Feel your feet rooting down into the floor. Long spines, we're gonna take our arms out to the side. Reaching from fingertip to fingertip, we're gonna roll our arms all the way forward till our palms face up towards the ceiling. Now keep reaching out to the side as we bring our arms all the way to the back, pulling them closer and closer without losing height, and then rotate our arms out even more till our palms face out to the side there. So from here, keeping our arms long, don't let them bend, we're gonna pull from the back of our arms and you're gonna squeeze them together. Small pulses there, everyone. So arms are high, backs of our arms, pulling closer and closer. We usually do about 100 here. Work your way up to 100 if you can. Now, when we're doing these, just watch that we don't lift our shoulders up or we bend our elbows. Keep those arms lovely and long and just backs of our arms are gonna pull closer and closer together there. Good, shoulders down and relaxed. Now we can do different movements to make it a little bit harder, challenging our arms a little bit more by doing small pulses up the way. Lifting up for a few, small movements up, and we can change it about with our little pulses in the way. Now also adding a circle to that, and it's just confusing our muscles, making them work a little bit harder. Again, arms nice and long, squeeze in for a few, and pulses up, and again circles. So changing it about like that, and do these, try them every single day if you can, a couple of times a day, and you will see a difference in your arms quite quickly with these ones. When you get to 100, I like to finish with 10 slow, just to make sure you're feeling it. So keep our arms high, we're gonna lift our arms up another inch higher, and then down an inch, up an inch, and down an inch, just for 10, without lifting our shoulders, feel your shoulder blades pulling down your back there. And this is a great exercise for relief, uh, releasing tension in your neck and shoulders. So 10 slow, up an inch, and then down an inch. And when you've reached your 10, you can give your shoulders a little shrug and then we'll stretch your arms out. Reach for your elbow and gently pull. Feel that down the back of your arms. And then you can reach for your other elbow and gently pull again. And if that one isn't sore just now, it will definitely be sore tomorrow.